Oh, Varga. Yes! Varga, what an absolute through ball that was. Oh, mate. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back. Episode 4, Red Bull Derby playthrough. And we've had some fun. We have definitely, definitely had some fun so far. You know, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. All good fun here on Twitch TV. While we wait for the game to load up, please drop a little comment on your favourite players so far and your progression. Any players that you want to see in Red Bull Derby as well, that would be great. But, you know, so far, so good. You know, we uh, unfortunately had a very poor preseason. And now come, obviously, what I think we're 20, 20 games into the season, not even 20 yet, maybe 18 games left of this, or 18 games into the season. Um, we, we, we're not doing too bad. I think we're sitting third at the moment, which is a good thing. You know, I do apologize if I'm not looking directly in the camera. Everything's just loading up. Um, but yeah, so far so good. You know, we, well, I do have a few players in mind to try and draft. Um, a couple from the uh, Bundesliga, a couple from, again, overseas in America. Um, still sort of scouting about and seeing what's what's about. Um, we might even try and see if there's any good coming through the youth canopy. Uh, I do know they want uh, a couple of players to come through there and, and you know get the ticks in the box for the uh, objective achievements. And um, yeah, the free agency is always a good one to try and find some good players. I do know in my Twitch United playthrough we have picked up a couple of good um, free agents through there. So yeah. Do uh, jump across as well, give that one a like, a comment as well. Um, I think we're up to episode 5, but everything's taken a bit of a back seat while uh, we've been doing this playthrough. But yeah, there we go, 16 games in, and we're sitting 4th, which isn't too bad. But let's look at the monthly schedule to see what we've got going. Um, this one, I'm going to do a couple of more. I know in the last episode i did say we were going to do the club uh the cup match um which we ended up beating shrewsbury town 2-4 which i think we ended up get they ended up scoring the first we scored four and then they scored up um, that second one in the last i think five or ten minutes but today this will be a double a double month playthrough um so we will do ipswich town we'll do possibly cambridge and then going into December, we will do uh, probably Charlton Athletic, and we'll do the Boxing Day Clash against um, Doncaster. So there's there's the four. So we've definitely got a few matches to, to play through. So let's get into it. Let's have a bit of fun, actually. Let's have a, uh, a peek at the squad. See who's available, see who's injured, see who's also out. Oh, and that is not what I want to see going into this month. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Oh, especially this match. <laughs> we got Ferreira, Stacey, and McCartney all out on international duties, which is a bit unfortunate. Interesting that Ferreira's, who's, who was he? Let's call him Jose. Um, is out, but Fernandez isn't. So, he, so he's not doing too bad. So we've got a couple of kids. Brooke, I don't know why. He just did not want to sign. He just doesn't want to sign longer than uh, than he needs to. So unfortunately, we put him after a trade. So we'll see what we can get from him. There's definitely a few here, like Walter Palmer, actually. Let's put him up for a loan because I do know he like as we can see there, plus ten. That's pretty good for a kid straight out of uh, straight out of the academy. Kemp, he's just just a beast. It's unfortunately, his paint laying time it's a bit a bit hard to get him. And then we've got Cade, mullet man. Absolutely, see it. Love seeing this guy's uh, performance. Thorpe, been doing well. Um, that's right, Franklin. Unfortunately, joining Red Bull Salzburg when the uh, the window opens. 
beverage, and then we got the foe who's unfortunately been pretty trash since uh, signing him. So he's he's going to be seeing the uh, being stone in the door at the end of the season. Maybe he wants to jump into a uh, sort of like a centre forward striker coaching role. We may allow that to happen. Just even though he's had a lot of experience um, in the in the years. Let's get into this uh, this match, or not this match particularly. Let's get into this episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, those four matches, four key matches for us. So, um, all I can say is <laughs> buckle in, get some biscuits, get some dip, get some drinks, get some friends around, throw back on the big screen, and let's get into it. But let's do the press conference. Let's see what needs to be said there, and um, go from there. Thank you for your patience. Let's uh, let's go out there, aim for a win. It's not a match really I want to lose. Um, we are we are ready. So it's red versus red versus white, which is great, great choice from uh, them. But yeah, we're playing at home, which is a is always a good thing. So we've got the we've got the home crowd on our side. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hosts have been scoring freely all season, but they face the best defence in the league. Who will come out on top? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. So they've been the best defending team with 10 goals against them the whole season. So it will be very interesting to see how we go against them, especially with their defence there. We have a good attack um, in, I think, uh, Franklin and Beveridge with the foe on the bench, so that will be an interesting one. Um, but yeah, all we can do is just play this game and, and see how we go. Obviously, we're just going to skip past all the uh, national anthem and all that, and get straight into it. And now they get the you all know how, how I love to just get straight into it. Oi. Oh, well done, Knowles. Stacey, it's back on you, mate. Come on. Oh, all stop. Good stop. If there was power in that kick, definitely would have gone in. We got a nice little uh, turn and, and shoot. Now sending it in. No. Now not on the target. Space was at a premium though. It's interesting that that's their sponsor, uh, Ed Sheeran. Oh, he looks threatening. Oh, uh, well, stopped. Go on, Stacey. This looks promising. Hang oh. on the this is the body on him. Pereira. Well, he likes to run at them. And pull back. Superb block. Can oh. Well oh, done, Knowles. Oh, my God. Just when it looked like <sighs> a fire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Oh. Piggott just absolutely missed it. Sent that, sent that to the corner, mate. Oof. It's been a uh, great first. Franklin. And now passing it through. And a goal. Yes! In the extra time of the first half. Oh, Adama. Well done. Yes. Oh. Oh, just build up and build up and build up and build up and in the back of the net. That is exactly what we've been waiting for. Oh, look at the run. 
Look at the run. He just just could see it opening up like that. Great, great goal. If this guy doesn't help us go to the championship league, I'll be very, very just. Let's see what we can achieve. Hopefully, we can get a uh, an extra goal. With Fraser, promising sequence. Defoe. Ah. Ah. Oh, offside. On the ball. But he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a oh, that, longer. That far guy's butt was. Oh my god. I reckon if you zoom in, that far dude's butt was keeping our player inside. Your thoughts? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Oh, sure, a chance. Well, I could see that happening, man. And they are level again. <sighs> Look, if we can draw against these guys, I'm not going to be mad. Because it's in the top of the table clash. Horrible feeling when you can see so late in the game. They thought they had the game won, but a lack of concentration has cost them dear here. Well, like I said, you know, a one all one all draw is it's not bad. It's not good either. But uh, I'm happy with that result. It's better than having a four nil defeat or a uh, you know two one defeat or something. But that was a great match. I will uh, we'll put that one into the record books for later down the track. A quick sim of this one. Um, because with, with, we should be able to get a win out of this one with our medalers. So, the usual, close my eyes, count to three. Three, two, one. Three, one. Perfect. Stacy, ooh. And Varga, nice. Jesus, Fernandez and Wallace. Pretty aggressive out there, boys. But we'll get into it. FA Cup action. Rebel Derby versus the Navarra. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the oldest cup competition of them all, the FA Cup. It's County. The Red Bull Derby fans are excited. Very excited. Let's hopefully we can get the win and, and progress through with the uh, FA Cup. Yeah, I think that's one of the uh, hit round 16 as one of the objectives through upper management, which is always good. But let's jump straight, in, straight into it. As we uh, aim to go into the next round from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout what are you expecting to see from him Stuart oh Derek great opportunity here well, what happened there he just took his time all the time in the world and he misses like that <sighs> Bolton Bolton Oh, thought. Oh, the oh, oh. defender was coming across. So I thought I'd try and aim for the back pocket. Oh man, should have had a little bit more spice on it, I reckon. And he's fired over the corner. A very effective clearance. Sterling. Oh, <laughs> Sterling, no. <sighs> oh, that would have been good if it was kept low. Oh. Oh, no. Jesus, how many attempts have we had this half, man? I'm just not capitalised. 
Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, as the touch match shows us, he hasn't posed much of a threat so far. I think we might have to look Thorpe up for a sale as well. One of our best, and we have to do that because he's just been cold all month, man. All month. Stats confirm the attack in play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Oh, can the Mullet Man do it? No. 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 What is that? It's a poor effort in the end. Let's reset. Stacy. Bird. Yes! Yes! Thorpe, he was cold, now he's hot! I'd like that burrito you'd pull out of an oven. Oh, well done, mate. Well done. Look at this. Step. Mullet man for Thorpe and back of the net. Could not be happier. Could not be happier. That's what, five I think he's had in the last three matches? Oh, shit. Wallace. Stacy Pereira. Oh, Mallet Man, he's brought it back. Oh, Azus! Azus! Let's go! <laughs> Again, ricochets, ricochets, ricochets. Stand there, mate. That's it. Jersey, boys. Jersey. Oh, the crowd. The crowd are going nuts for Zeus. Oh, he just stood there. He just knew. He just knew. Look at it. Just rocketed between the defender and the keeper. Like one of Elon Musk's rockets off to the moon. And players waiting in the center. It might be. Oh! <laughs> Goalkeeper in great form. He's he has led to win. But look at this. That, I have to say though, this is a great a great save. Moving back with the flight as well. Must be pretty cold if she's brought out the puffer jacket. And he's fired over the corner. Pumps clear. Oh, mullet man gets his name on the board. Let's go. Go celebrate with the fans. Let them know. Let them know. Red Bull Derby is taking over. FA Cup. Let's go. I expected the keeper to come out, to be fair. Oh, it's come off the hands. Bad, bad luck for the keeper, but what a goal! Passing, movement, and creativity were of the highest quality. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. Oh, she loves it, mate. She loves it. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today. Static, Thorpe, Bezus, and Cade, all with one each. Well, <laughs> if you can't tell by this far into the video, I have changed shirts. Yes, I have changed shirts. While uh, doing most of this episode, we had a power outage, and I was lucky. I saved it at this point. Um, it pretty much saved it, then about five minutes later, power outage. So, yep, this is on the next day. I do hope that uh, this is, you know, we've got a bit more fun in this. Uh, remember, don't forget, if you want to see any players that are going, that you want part of Red Bull Derby, please drop down who you think would be a good addition. Um, I'm looking at centre mids or centre attacking mids at the moment, even right mids or left mids, um, or just any sort of mid. Uh, midfield players and potentially a couple of of uh, either left back or right back players and a couple of CBs. So 
drop a comment down who you think would be a good suit for the team. It's obviously not a team we, we use all the time. It's a bit of a, an underwhelming team. You know, get the foe starting as well. Cameras trained on one man. He's fit enough to start. We have all the action for you live next on EA TV. Interesting that they put the cameras on Varga for that. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And all about action from League One coming right up. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, look at that there! From the back of the box like that! Holy dooly! Hell! Yeah. Yeah, that was like his first goal the whole season. Get around him, boys. Fans are absolutely well, happy. It again. It's a good Look where he is. Corner, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Oh, even their defender had no chance. He managed to uh, get a good connection to her, that's for sure. Pass. Can he put it oh, Beveridge. Beveridge can. Beveridge can put it back. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Let's see the replay on that. I want to see the uh, how it ricocheted. Oh, the crowd again. Going nuts. Going absolute mental. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. Come, come off his ankle? Unlucky, really. Come off his ankle? No. I'm not going to show it. All right. But, yeah, good attempt by the keeper. Great, uh, I'll give him an A for diving efforts. But, yeah, it's unfortunately when it comes off the feet like that, it is, uh, is. going to be going to be very uh, hard to stop. Hold it, hold it. What a, another clean sheet. Another good clean sheet. 3-0 against Doncaster. So that's definitely going to give them, uh, keep them down in the relegation zone. But, uh, you know, what more could we want from the team? Even though it wasn't a 100% strength team, we uh, still, still took, a, took the win. And even better, not conceding any goals. Uh, Conte with an absolute header. What do we got here? Are we just getting closer and closer to uh, Ipswich Town and possibly taking that top spot? Can we take the top spot before uh, the... No, I don't think we can, to be fair. Let's see what they keep saying about us. Facing... An ambitious challenge from Doncaster, which there wasn't. Toots, Toots aside, does it only extend their unbeaten run to nine matches? Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Team of the week announced. Who we got? Varga or Comte? That will be interesting. Having the overturn Sheffield Wednesday. RB manager, uh, Rebel Derby manager, Toots will be hoping to get the better of Sheffield Wednesday in today's counter after going down. That's right, I think we lost 3 2 in the um, the original uh, match against them. It's like, yeah, the January transfer window is probably not going to be as active or as busy as I would think, um, especially for us. There is a number of players on the books that are not going to continue to get consistent uh, consistent game time here at Red Bull Derby. But, you know, all we can do is see what uh, people offer us and go from there. Uh, there was four people that we've got that are coming out of contract. Uh, we've got Brooke, who obviously didn't want to extend. We have, um, there was a couple others. Uh, Defoe was another one. So let's have a quick look at the squad. It was the two keepers in Webb and Finlay, which they're both up on up on the transfer. We've got Defoe, who's not going to get an extension. Actually, what we can do, 
is we'll see if we can get him to extend it again um, and we'll go from there so interesting how it's another uh, another cafe uh, meet so let's see what uh, we can do for him yep as well will be important yep I'm fine with that I think everything was fine it was just his contract length one year, I don't, I don't, I want three years from the young man. Can you come back with two? No, just the one year. And negotiation. <laughs> he just doesn't want to sign. It's the second time we've sat down with him and he just, he just wants to sign for one, one year. It's not going to happen. We want to sign him for at least three. So that takes him to, you know, I think it'll be 30, 32, uh, 33. Um, but yeah. Cameras trained on one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today live on EA TV? A warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you very shortly, live action from League One. Look at that crowd. They're absolutely we'll excited for this home, uh, home match now down to the players. against Which Sheffield. Stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the great... Oh, Kemp was on, man. That was, that was a rocket ship. Ready? Just a step, and then boom. Rock that that would surely broke the toe. If that didn't break the toe, I'm uh, I'll be very surprised. And there's the delivery. Well, no end product. Sitting ever deeper. Oh, another rocket by Kemp. Another rocket by Kemp. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the Oh, Varga. Yes, Varga. What an absolute through ball that was. Oh, mate. Yes. Wave to the crowd. That is your goal, mate. That is your goal. Well, as you can see here, oh. starts with a perfectly weighted ball what a ball. The and the movement is good, making for a couple what of What a through it's ball. A really great goal. Oh, beverage again. Well, it's a good position for County to be in. Chance to finish. Oh, was that Fernandez? Hey, me? Oh, Amir has just come on. He's just come on. <laughs> Three one. Cop that Sheffield Wednesday. Come on, Brooke. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage, and this is not over not yet anyway. Did also let that in? Do you let that in? Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, but you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. Yeah, he let it in. Oh my god. Oh. Why, why didn't it allow me just to go straight to Thorpe? A a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, but look, it was a really I'll take it. Game, but they were the I'll take it. Over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. 
Yeah, definitely take that. That was great. I loved it. I loved it. Already no complaints whatsoever about Roland, his performance mate, at the that first goal in the first half. Well, he great done. Great stuff. Great stuff. Because he performed yeah, really well. All he around. scored a good claps goal all and they won the game. An oh, excellent stuff all like round. Reggie Hill, like, he's 15. He's at a 63 overall. Like, that is ridiculous. Um, we can't obviously promote him yet. But I think we'll wait till the end of the season and Tommy Watkins will be a name for the record books. I reckon he will be a name for the record books. And Lucas Soller, you know, he's... Uh, in his preparations so it's great to see uh brook contract situation since having been successfully in renewing brook's contract agreement he has now become available on free agent which is fine uh oh no that is not fine um uh, we recommend it or we can offer it uh, that, that might that might work actually I want to let you know that Jonathan Brook deal with us is running down and Everton have approached him as a pre, as you know. Oh, let's, let's see if we can keep him. Because I do know he's, he's, he's good. I do enjoy him as a, where is he? Approached by Everton. Uh, contact with you. because you actually want to sign off for the two years. What happened with that? Is he going to sign or is he going to go sign with Everton? Could you imagine that? Getting signed from the League One team straight to a Prem team. Yes, this is, look at this. This is what I want to see. Transfer news. Rebel Derby announced that the contract Rebel Rook has finally agreed to put pen to paper on the club's new offer. It's only taken me six months to actually get him to sign. The 28 year old has been stalling over a new deal as widely removed. Re <laughs> while. T -t 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 Today, Junior! Widely rumored to be on his way out. Now, though, he has re had a rethink and has pledged his future to Red Bull Derby. Fans can breathe a sigh of relief now on this long running saga seems to be over. Yeah, it's just he's just done my absolute edit with it. So there we have it, episode four done and dusted. Um, obviously we've just jumped into January, so that now is a transfer window. Um, drop comments down below. I will pretty much I've been trying my best to try and get this out weekly for you guys so it stays pretty consistent um so yeah drop a comment down below there's one below oh, yeah, that went from um, there you go mariners to to uh scunny good old skunk up from uh, the a league to league two have fun with that mate um but yeah i got sidetracked for a second there um yeah episode four done dusted i'm gonna try and get these out weekly for you guys um so yeah, I'm gonna try to get them out on Sunday nights. On Sunday nights as well, I do pretty much Sunday nights. I do all of my gameplay or my month, month and a half. This one, I think we've just gone over two months. Um, just so I'm trying to speed up this first season a bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, you know, transfer windows coming up. Let me know in the comments below uh, where and who you wish to see in the uh, transfer window. If not, you know, do or do we, you know, wait this transfer window and we go through till the end of the year and to the beginning of next year's transfer window and we start fresh with new players uh, and new signings because uh, I feel like that will be probably the better option for us. Uh, we've got many dollars to spend, uh, big wage money also to play around with, but yeah, 
that's all I can uh, think of at the moment. But yeah, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. You know, I do do wish to see how uh, how the rest of the season goes. We are currently sitting second. I think it is two two points behind Ifrish Town, which has uh, been been great. It's been great with the team we have. We should be able to uh, take that top spot, I reckon, within the next couple of weeks. And for us to go 11 consecutive games without a loss uh, is even even a bigger tick in the box. Uh, so that's been a, a good run. So yeah, there's not much not much more I could expect or be happy with. Uh, we finally got to sign Brook after many months of him just being a pain on my butt. Uh, but we signed him, giving him some money, so he's happy. And we signed uh, Lecompte as well. So he signed on for another couple of years, which is great. Uh, but yeah, as per usual, I do thank you. Thank you for hanging around and watching. And uh, as per always, take care and peace.